Welcome! In this example, we're going to take a look at multiplying together rational expressions. Now, rational expressions are a lot like fractions, so when we go to multiply them, it works basically the same way. We'd multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. Now, before you get into those steps, however, you may be able to save yourself a lot of work. The way you do this is you try and simplify it before actually multiplying them together, okay? So look at the example I have here. I have 2 times a plus b divided by 5, and that's being multiplied by 50 divided by 10 times a plus b squared. So we're going to simplify this and then go ahead and multiply anything that's left over. Now the way we simplify is we look for common terms in the top and in the bottom. And as I look at this, I, I see that 50 and I say, wait a minute, I can break that up. 50 is the same as 5 times 10. Now the reason why I'd want to do that is because notice how we have a 5 in the top and a 5 in the bottom. It means those 5's will cancel out. Hey, look at that. Looks like we also have a 10 in the top and a 10 in the bottom. Let's cancel those out as well. Alright, looking pretty good. Again, keep searching for common terms in the top and bottom and see what else you find. Oh, look at this. Inside parentheses I have a plus b, and down here I have a plus b again. But this one's squared. Well, when it's squared like that, remember it's like having a plus b times another a plus b. It's like having two of them. So, yeah, we can cancel out an a plus b, but we're only going to cancel out one of them. Alright, my work is getting kind of messy here, so let's go ahead and write down everything that's left over. So over in this expression, looks like we only have a 2. Let's see, nothing else up top. Check the bottom. Looks like the only thing left is an A plus B. All right. Now let's keep checking. Well, there's not a whole lot left. And I can see that there's nothing common in the top and in the bottom, which means this expression is now simplified as much as possible. And look at that. We actually didn't even have to multiply at all. If you'd like to see some more examples, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.